Chapter 51 The Need for Self-Renunciation Man's great danger is in being self-deceived, indulging self-sufficiency, and thus separating from God the source of his strength. Our natural tendencies, unless corrected by the Holy Spirit of God, have in them the seeds of mortal death. Unless we become vitally connected with God, we cannot resist the unhallowed effects of self-love, self-indulgence, and temptation to sin. In order to receive help from Christ, we must realize our need. We must have a true knowledge of ourselves. It is only he who knows himself to be a sinner that Christ can save. Only as we see our utter helplessness and renounce all self-trust can we lay hold on divine power. It is not only at the beginning of the Christian life that this renunciation of self is to be made. At every advance step heavenward it is to be renewed. All our good works are dependent on a power outside of ourselves. Therefore, there needs to be a continual reaching out of the heart after God, a constant, earnest confession of sin and humbling of the soul before Him. Perils surround us, and we are safe only as we feel our weakness and cling with the grasp of faith to our mighty Deliverer.